And here is the ninth Horrorween review. This time, though, I'm doing five movies instead of just one. And I find that this will make it easier. And in the first lineup, we have Species. Now, Species came out a little bit later. It was created by MGM. There was actually four movies. But the fourth movie is a direct-to-DVD sequel and isn't as good as the original trilogy. With the third movie actually being a direct-to-DVD. But since Natasha Henstridge still was contract to do a third movie, she asks that they quietly kill her character off Eve after she gives birth to her, the next character who will take over, which was played by Mabry, Sonny Mabry, who played Sarah, her daughter Sarah. And then a whole bunch of other creatures, but uh, one of the great things about this uh, franchise is the creature design was designed by the horror master and uh, one of the artists who helped design Alien, H.R. Giger. He designed the costume. Originally, the costume of Henstridge's character had looked a little bit too much like a xenomorph, so they uh, cut it out. In the number two spot, we have Decoys. And to tell you the truth, Decoys is, feels like it is also ripped from species. The funny thing is that the front cover of Species 3 says Beauty is only skin deep, and then they use the same saying in the, on the back of Decoys. But instead, Decoys takes place in a college, or and a whole bunch of uh, female aliens are trying to produce with the humans. But in order to do that, it has to be very, very cold in order for them to lay eggs, or whatever the hell the aliens do. I don't even want to know. And then, the last movie, which is number three, is They Are Among Us. Now, this one was created by Barnholtz Entertainment and Obrow and Libel Film Entertainment. And this movie is bad, but it makes up for it with having some at least good practical effects for the creature that you'll see on the front cover. And also... The version I have is the director's cut. I remember seeing this movie on the Sci-Fi Channel. This one was also distributed by Lions Gate Home Entertainment. And it stars Allison Eastwood. Who probably, after this movie, didn't want to be associated with the entire project. But, anyway, this will wrap up the ninth Horrorween franchise. I've certainly told you some good and some bad. It's up to you guys how you want to view them.